This lesson we're going to learn how to add a calendar. It's really pretty easy. The first uh, video we'll watch is about adding the calendar. The second will be about different ways you can use the calendar. So you should be at your page and logged in. Your name will be up in the upper right hand corner. And what you'll do is you'll go to Site Actions, Create. So go to Site Actions and Create. It will take you to a different page. Under this page, you'll see there are libraries, communications, and tracking. Under tracking, select calendar. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to name your calendar. So I'm going to call it practice. You can call it whatever it is for you. And then you can add a description if you would like. And then you decide, do you want to display this list on the quick launch bar, which is your navigation bar to the right over here. So I'm going to say no and click create. And all it does is create a calendar. And the calendar acts sort of as another um, either web part or page. And you can add um, events into your calendar. So if I click on this day, I can add an event. And so I can go to new and new item and I can add an event into my calendar. You can also do this from the main calendar, click New, and you can um, add your event title, choose your date and time, when it starts and when it ends. So I'm going to say it's an hour. You can make it an all-day activity that doesn't start or end at any specific hour. You can re make it a repeating event so that it happens every week or every month. Um, so I'm going to say it happens weekly, every Tuesday. And you can also tell it to end after so many occurrences. And click OK. You can also attach a file up here too. Alright, so um, you have your event. You can go back and you can look at it in a month form, or weekly, or just for the day. And so you've created a calendar. And that's how easy it is to create a calendar.